But let's take it to Patrice Leon Luca of the Independent Women's Forum. Great to see you, Patrice. Um, Good to let's see you get, too, Jackie. Let's get straight to this with Mayor Pete. I mean, how center can he go? Well, I think he can. He's already to pretty much center left to begin with. Uh, I think he really wants to position himself as the alternative to Joe Biden, and certainly, definitely, the alternative to the far left candidates of Warren and uh, and Sanders. And you know, when he when we look at it, he has actually backtracked on some of his positions. He used to embrace Medicare for all. Now he's not so much. He's maybe for a public option. And I think he's saying, you know what, uh, I, I want to be able to be more electable. Uh, and if Joe Biden is too old or whatever the case may be, I would be the better alternative. Yeah, and it's interesting because there are a lot of folks out there talking about his popularity increasing, that he may not have what it takes to get the nomination. At the same time, do you think that this is a trend? I mean, Warren and Sanders are not going to go center, but do you think that this is a trend that the Democrats have to embrace if they want a serious chance at winning this election? I think they do. I mean, I recognize that, you know, we, we talk about the far, the, the, the Democratic Party taking a very far left turn, but I think it's still pretty fair to say that there are a lot of centrist Democrats who, you know, don't embrace socialism, don't embrace Medicare for all, and don't think that, you know, they want uh, someone who's going to speak to them as blue collar workers, uh, people who have felt left behind by a lot of the, um, by, by a lot of the globalist ideas that, it, that have taken a foothold in, in the, in the left party, in the left wing of the party right now. Now, Buttigieg, his problem still continues to be minorities. How is he going to reach the black vote and how is he going to reach the Hispanic vote? And uh, and and uh, Vice President Biden still continues to lead among blacks in particular. All right. And let's talk about Mayor Bloomberg um, and his latest move, basically, you know, as a billionaire saying, I'm going to keep mm -hmm. the offices open whether I win or don't win um, to be able to have some sort of an influence. <laughs> Mayor Bloomberg is definitely going to be the spoiler no matter what, it, it, no matter who who's the, the opponent. I mean, I think he's saying that he wants to take on President Trump, and he's going to be there to the very end. I, I do wonder, though, why not support other candidates? Why not put your money behind other candidates who you think may get the nomination and may be more likely to to win against President Trump? I don't know if maybe he's collecting all of this data uh, and using it for other purposes in the future or just to remain relevant. But, you know, he's he, he has the money. He's going to use it. He has that right, I guess, as an American citizen who's uh, very wealthy to do so. Uh, but it doesn't necessarily mean that he's going to be continue to be very popular. Mm. Let's talk about President Obama for a second, talking up Elizabeth Warren a little bit. Remember, President Obama <laughs> would not get behind Joe Biden with that official uh, endorsement. Do you think yeah. he's going to give it to Warren? I don't. I, and, you know, I may sound like a conspiracy theorist, but I actually think that he might give it to Hillary Clinton if she were to jump in the race, if Joe Biden didn't do too well on Super Tuesday. And I say this because he's been seeding these ideas around women leaders being the best leaders. But Elizabeth Warren and, and Obama, they have very different policy perspectives. She is so far to the left. And even, even when she was working with him in uh, on the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, they butted heads in lots of different ways. And so, you know, I, I really find it strange to think that he would suddenly throw all of his support behind her. Mm. You know, I think Obama is, is he's thinking about his legacy and how he can bring back his legacy. And Elizabeth Warren would not do that. Really quickly, how likely do you think it would be that Hillary Clinton would resurface here uh, and mm. how it would impact things in terms of how voters are looking at this election? I would give it a 40 percent chance right now. But depending on how Super Tuesday goes, I would it could bump up to maybe 70, 80 percent. I think it really depends on how Joe Biden does coming out of Super Tuesday. All right. We will be watching. Patrice, great to see you. Have a <laughs> wonderful evening. Good to see you, evening. Jackie. Merry All Christmas. Right.